First guest tonight is a multi-talented man, you know, mostly from television, but now he's the star of a movie that you will probably have to watch on television. It's called Happily. It premieres in theaters digitally and on demand a week from Friday. He hasn't left his home for a year. Please welcome Joel McHale. <laughs> And it's, Get you it. look great. That Get is it. a beautiful this is, beard you've grown there. It's great to see you. Yes. Uh, is that a year's worth of growth? This is a week. A uh, week? Yeah. You should see my pubes. <laughs> uh, they are they're past my knees. Yeah. Uh, no, I started a uh, ZZ Top tribute band during the pandemic. I didn't know that. And, uh, I didn't know you were, I didn't even know you were a musician, yeah. I'm not. It's terrible. <laughs> Sounds terrible. Yeah, I can keep two meals in this thing. <laughs> They're called ZZ Bottom, right? Isn't that the name <laughs> yes. of the band? Yeah. Yeah, that has another <laughs> meaning as well. Yeah, no, this is, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just, I didn't do anything during the pandemic, so. Interesting that your beard would be so full and your eyebrows so bushy, and yet your hair looks like it was cut today. Yeah, well, uh, it's weird. It, this has not grown at all. Oh, really? And, uh, <laughs> but I realized how, I was like, when I was storming the Capitol, I was like, everyone looks <laughs> like me. <laughs> this is, yeah, everyone looks. And what's going on with that shirt? I'm just knowing oh. you've got a lot of company names I, on. I want that <laughs> vaccine. <laughs> I want that. <laughs> what do you got there? Look, everybody's making it now. Oh, uh, well, yeah, you do I'm, have all Pfizer, of them. Pfizer, if you're in, that's great. Moderna, we got uh, Nabisco, of course. They make a vaccine? I don't know, maybe. Uh, <laughs> Jim Bean sure did. Uh, <laughs> there was a number of times I woke up, I thought, I must be sick, and it was just hungover. And then. <laughs> Uh, Fortnite, if they come out with a vaccine, all the kids will be totally They'll fine. have it for and, sure, uh, yeah. This is the vaccine I'm excited about, the Why? Waffle House. The wa oh, yeah. Could you imagine getting the vaccine through a waffle? Oh, oh. boysenberry syrup <laughs> flavored. <laughs> oh, it would be so good. Well, uh, you look great. Hey, you look amazing. I think and I... I've never seen your balls like this. Oh, so yeah, this well, is... yeah, you've probably never, never even seen them. <laughs> you are... <laughs> Are you, they're not uh, visible, are they? <laughs> uh, it's weird, the tie. The Hold tie on, let just, me shake them back down the leg. Yeah, that's, that's great. Do you do the check after a pee and you put up the pants and you're like, any leakage? I'm okay. Is yes, that, yeah. of course I do, of course. A man my age, it's like you've blown a gasket. <laughs> <That's>, yeah. <laughs> me too, man. I think I saw you like uh, in person one year ago, exactly. Uh, that when, We really have not seen each other. Yeah, you were on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. What yeah. have you been doing? Like, what if I know you cook, I know you like to do that stuff. What else? Yeah, I, well, uh, first of all, like when the pandemic hit, it was today. Was today the day at all? Today was Pretty the much. day. Yeah. So my kid turned 12 the next day, and we had to cancel his party and all that. And so he is turning 13 tomorrow, and we are having a distanced party. So uh, happy birthday, Isaac. Uh, who we. Uh, I want to make an announcement that Jimmy Kimmel will be at the party. He will be doing entertainment. I'll come to the party. This, yeah. is, this is great. I would um, love to come to Isaac's party. Is it going to be one of those where people drive by? Because those are the worst parties. Because it's yeah. like, hey, look, it's my friends. Oh, there they go. There they. <laughs> no, we got a used bouncy house that's been at like 12 different places. We're uh -huh. like, don't even wash it. We'll put it up. I'm sure it's fine. And then there's a ballroom. It's great. Uh, no, I, uh, you, uh, Jimmy, you know me. I'm an obsessive compulsive workaholic. You are kind of a workaholic, aren't I, you? What yeah, have you I, been working on since? Yeah, you, well, it seems like there, you've done jobs that didn't even exist during th this time. That is true. I, I, even when I, I, I said yes to everything offered. I was on every uh, Zoom game show. I, and believe, it's funny you said that thing about Zoom and everyone complains about Zoom, but could you imagine being the president of Zoom where it was like, we are providing an essential service and everyone <laughs> hates us. And, uh, <laughs> and we're not charging them anything for it. Yeah, it was like, it's free <laughs> and they're all furious about us. And they're like, Ew. <laughs> another miracle of technology, great. <laughs> But, you should have put them on your shirt, you, you know? know? I feel like every A-list celebrity basically went on vacation for the first part of COVID. They were uh -huh. like, oh, I had to be in Cancun uh, and hide there. 
And uh, so I just was like, us D-listers, I just said yes to everything. You did, yeah. Even when you went on vacation, I hosted your show. Yes, so, thank you uh, for doing that. <laughs> thank you. Look at that response. See that? They went with you. <laughs> yeah. Have you always had this work ethic? Where yeah. You, yeah. Yeah, no, I'm... An Even idiot. as a kid, as a young boy. Yeah, my my my. Yeah, I mean, I was I was gonna say like I hosted this show mm -hmm. uh, on my anniversary and well, right. It yeah, was your why? Yes, it was my and my and I when I I was worried when I told my wife I was like, is it okay? And she was like, I expected you to work on our anniversary, so <laughs> it would be weird if you were available to express <laughs> your love to me. But uh, <laughs> no, as boy, your staff is a great audience and. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Except for you. No, uh, I no. I had like twelve jobs as a kid. Uh, I did free. I every. I had a uh, paper route. I had a weeding service. I used to fold sweatshirts at a um, like a big warehouse. I uh, cut down trees. That was off. I, well, trim them. Uh -huh. uh, and I I was constantly doing stuff. Yeah. And I worked at uh, an espresso cart for years. You did, on, in Seattle? In Seattle. Oh. I, I was in a, a mobile espresso cart. What year was this? This started in 1989. That's when I lived and worked in Seattle. Is this when... This is this, when you were afraid of Mount Rainier, right? Well, I still am, yeah. It's an active <laughs> volcano, and everyone should be afraid yeah, of Mount Rainier. but don't you think there would... Be... <laughs> right, but don't you think there's enough warning with an active not volcano? Not for me, there isn't, no. <laughs> I He's feel like... really afraid of Mount Rainier, I haven't I'm not lived kidding. In, I haven't lived in Seattle for 30 years. I feel like I got out of there just in time. <laughs> so... <laughs> so... So when you see like Amazon setting up, like just spreading out in Seattle, and you're like, oh yeah, okay, keep going, guys. <laughs> you are. <laughs> there, well, Amazon was a jungle back then. So they, you're fine with earthquakes, sudden earthquakes in LA. Don't like those either. Not a fan. Yeah. But d wouldn't you say there's more of those than eruptions? It's it's just so hard to do a television show in Alabama, you know. <laughs> True. I didn't think about that. Uh, it's a whole other set of problems. By the way, looking there. at you, I feel like yeah. I'm doing a television show oh, in Alabama. Oh, so now you're right. making fun of Alabama? Thanks a lot. <laughs> Joel Bye. McHale is here. We'll be right back. We're getting... We are prepared to take full responsibility for our mishap. Mishap? Yes. I, I think we're going to need some kind of an explanation here. You see, every few years, we encounter someone with a defect. But two people with a malfunction, that, that is what we call a rarity. That is Joel McHale, Stephen Steve, Root. Stephen Root, and uh, of course, the, the amazing Carrie Bechet. Carrie Bechet. I don't know how much I can say about this movie. I enjoyed it. it I think I can say that you play a couple, you and yeah. Carrie, yeah. who really like each other after 14 years of marriage. Yep. And it really bothers all of their friends. Yes. We yes. have uh, sex like three times a day. A lot of sex. Yeah. We've been married 14 years, and yeah, they, they hate our guts. And then it gets really, really strange. Yes. We, it is like a Twilight Zone episode with, again, a lot of sex. Yes, with a lot of sex. <laughs> so. And a lot of actors, you know, they, they're uncomfortable with sex scenes, whatever. You told me it's the only way you can get an erection is on set, right? Yeah. While they're yeah. Well. yeah, it's... I might as well be squatting in a river all the time <laughs> until I get on set, because that's, that is the sexiest place. And not only you have this movie, Happily, you've got, which was supposed to come out like a year uh, yeah, ago, Yeah, it was right? supposed to be in the Tribeca Film Festival, and uh, that didn't happen. And so, <laughs> so now it's finally coming out. I said I was not going to shave until it came out. And <laughs> so here we go. Uh, and yeah, now it's finally coming out, so we're very excited. Again, like the cast is so great, and they... Uh, there is a lot of funny people in it. Yeah, there's it, the group is very, very good. I can't remember any of them. And speaking of funny, you have you brought us something special tonight. You yes. did a stand-up comedy special. I did a stand-up comedy special uh, in, for Netflix. Yes, I uh, shot it in October. 
And uh, you shot this in October. Now that was like kind of the height of the pandemic, wasn't it? Yeah. Again, I don't stop working, so I was like, they offered it, and I'm like, you bet, I'm doing it. And, Interesting. All yeah. right. Well, we do have a we have actually the world premiere of the trailer for Joe McHale's. Let's McHale. hear it, Kim on the staff. Take a look. Let's hear it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> This barely works 60% of the time. Woo! And that's why I don't use railings. How about that traffic out there? I got here quicker than it took me to pick out my fashionably torn jeans. Who's with me? Man, I want that vaccine. I want that vaccine. For herpes! Hello! Hey, what's your name, man? It's Mike. Mike! Mike! Hey, 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 hey. What do you do, Mike? I'm the cameraman. How much time do I have left? So what else is going on? You guys washing your hands? You guys washing your hands? Are you guys washing your hands? Eat it, Chappelle. That's Eat part it. one. Oh, no, part no. one. That's part one. <laughs> That's the first hour. The first hour. <laughs> Joe McHale, everyone. Happily premieres in theaters, digital, and on demand a week from Friday. Go we'll see it. We'll be back with Pete Buttigieg. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jimmy Kimmel, and this is the internet. I made it myself. Hit subscribe if you like it.